So, how do you use the Molly AI diagram more accurately? Let's say, for example, that you have a point here that is in between different lines. How do you make an accurate estimate of what, for example, water content you have or temperature, what relative humidity and so on? Well, with water content, it's simple because it's equidistant diagram. So 0 to 0, 0, 001 uh, is the same distance as from 0, 0, 001 to, to 0 0.02. So simply interpolate lin linearly, and the same goes for enthalpy. And with temperature, you can do the same. But what about the relative humidity? In this version of the diagram, you have 0 0.4 there and 0 0.6 there. But where is 0 0.5? Well, you can interpolate that as well. And for diagrams where the water content is rather small, it's an easy way to do it, actually. Uh, so let's look at the equation. The, the relative humidity is the partial pressure of water divided with the vapor pressure at that point. But we can express those both in water content. And then you get this. And then we can hustle around a bit. And we get to this equation where you can actually see that if the water content is a lot less than 0 0.62. And if the water content at the saturation point is a lot less than 0 0.62, then we can simply take away that and say that, OK, it's a, essentially a linear thing along the temperature line. So to find the 0 0.5 here, you take the, the middle point along this along a constant temperature line, a constant di dry temperature line. So that's the way to do it. With wet temperature, you it's a bit uh, more tricky because the distance changes as you increase the, the wet temperature. But in my course, let's just say that you interpolate linearly. But please note that in the diagrams you have, there is actually helplines on either side uh, to help you to make these uh, lines if uh, those are not drawn. So if you take this diagram, for example, you see that there are some lines that are solid. And then there is a small tick here up there. And those small ticks you can use to draw nice wet temperature lines when there is no solid line. And if you need to go somewhere in between, then yeah, simply interpolate linearly. That's fine in this course.